G'day guys, Josh here. This is a quick video. I just wanted to have a look at this latest article that's been released on easports.com. This one talks about the new head-to-head -head format. Uh, it's now being called Showdown, and by the time this video releases, the current head-to-head -head format will actually have ended. We will be having three days without it, uh, as it does say in this article a little bit further down. If we scroll from Monday, March 26th through to the 29th, the current format will be done and dusted. And on Friday, the new weekly showdown competition will be introduced to the world. We get a little snippet with this, uh, or two screenshots actually. Uh, we can see that the first screenshot is, we've found a, a opponent and we can hit play our first quarter for five stamina. So the cost doesn't change. Uh, we do know that it will only be one quarter that you will be playing as opposed to two, as it says here in this article. And we also know that you can use your classic lineup as well. And in fact, in that screenshot, we can see that there is a bonus for using your classic lineup. I'm assuming that will be uh, at the start. That might change as the, uh, as the season progresses. That's just a way to introduce everyone to the fact that you can now use your classic lineup in it something outside of league versus league, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm certainly excited to be able to use it uh, in any other part of the game. Uh, and I'm definitely excited by this new format. It looks a lot to me like, a little bit like what FIFA do, but more specifically what Mobile Madden has done with their head-to-head -head format this year. Uh, it isn't quite live. It's not, uh, you're not playing someone at the exact same time they're playing you and seeing um, them control their players while you control your players. But essentially you're both playing simultaneously and then uh, at the end or within a few minutes, you'll have an outcome. And it looks like you'll be able to uh, be searching for multiple opponents at the same time to do that. And then at the end of each week, that season will reset. You can see that here um, and you'll be earning prizes at the end of the week. I'm assuming based on the tier that you finish in, you get a little preview of that here. Uh, season ends one day, 21 hours, and this gives you a, an idea of what the next, um, they call it next promotional rewards there, but I'm assuming it's just the same tiers that we have in our current head-to-head -head format. So if you reach higher tiers, you're gonna be unlocking better end of week rewards, which is fantastic. And that will include uh, a way to grind out these weekly showdown heroes. The first one starting at a 98 overall and then building up from there. And it looks like they're gonna be pretty exclusive. So you're probably gonna have to finish the week in the legendary tier uh, if there's an equivalent for that in the new format. And then you'll get a token or something to put towards a set which will unlock these showdown heroes. It looks like they do carry over though. If you are not able to get one uh, you can put those tokens towards ones in future weeks. I'm not sure if they'll be out weekly or whether it will be a maybe a monthly thing. Um, and if we look at the bottom of this article, there's definitely more of a focus on the uh, lineup overall now. And that has been definitely noticed. There was a change about a week ago. There was no longer a tip off at the start of head-to-head uh, -head and league versus league quarters. The higher overall team started with possession. Uh, an out of bounds throw in. If the overalls matched, then you had a tip off. But if there was a discrepancy, the higher overall team started with possession. So that's pretty significant. And it also says here that the higher overall team will play uh, tighter defense, which is potentially going to be significant as well. We won't know until we see exactly what that looks like, but that's definitely a push from EA, uh, obviously to, to get you to play more, to build up your lineups and maybe even spend some money, but also possibly to counteract the bench nerf, uh, not necessarily a glitch, but it was something that certain people were taking advantage of to try and uh, get easier wins. I'm not sure if it actually had that much of an impact. I, I never really noticed any difference when I played against someone that had done that. So I'm very excited to see what this new format looks like. I only really played head to head to grind towards Master Harden, but I'm actually excited about this new weekly format. The possibility of getting regular prizes is fantastic. Um, being able to play and get results pretty much instantaneously. I kind of like the concept of having four quarters because that's what basketball is all about. But when I weigh it up against getting pretty much immediate feedback on whether I won or lost, I think that's actually going to be better. So there'll be a little bit more importance on that one quarter that you do get to play and it should make for more exciting gameplay.
Can't wait to check this new game mode out. Leave any comments, thoughts, ideas, uh, what you think about this so far. We don't have all the information, but just based on what we've been able to gather, leave that in the comments down below, and I look forward to reading through them and getting back to you guys. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.